Welcome to the Morning Download Podcast, your go-to resource for personal finance, economics, and market insights. In just eight minutes a day, we provide valuable information to help you make better money decisions. Don't forget to sign up for our free newsletter at https semicolon slash slash www.morningdownload.com slash subscribe. Let's dive right in. In today's episode, we'll cover indexes down and telecom sectors stagnant, Jamie Dimon's warnings about the U.S. economy, Apple's challenges and success as the top phone seller, Coinbase's battle with the SEC and its impact on crypto tokens, the rapid growth of private debt investments, and the importance of dreaming big and working towards goals every day. So recently, Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, has been expressing some concerns about the economy. He's being cautious about the next two years, and he's got a few reasons for it. For one, he feels that the combination of financial and geopolitical risks could pose some danger. Diamond also believes that the rising U.S. debt is going to have a big impact on the situation. But it's not just the debt that has him worried. He's also keeping an eye on what's going on in the Middle East and Ukraine. Diamond thinks that the relatively positive stock market we've been seeing lately might be misleading investors. He feels that it's lulled them into a false sense of security, making them not fully aware of the risks that lie ahead. Moving on to some global news, the Biden administration is proposing a new rule that could potentially save consumers a whopping dollar three, five billion a year in bank fees. The rule would limit overdraft fees to just dollar three. This could be a major win for consumers struggling with fees. In the UK, they're seeing a rise in inflation for the first time in almost a year. This decrease in the chances of rate cuts is certainly something to take note of. Meanwhile, over in China, their population has declined for the second year in a row, which is a cause for concern as their economy stumbles. And speaking of updates, it seems that home builder sentiment is up lately. This is likely due to mortgage rates trending down, which is good news for those in the market for a new home. However, there are some who believe that the real estate market is about to take a turn for the worse. The CEO of Cantor Fitzgerald has even gone so far as to say that it's going to get very ugly. Lastly, let's talk about holiday sales. They've been climbing, which has given retailers some hope that shoppers will continue to spend, despite the uncertain times we're living in. However, experts are warning that Wall Street should be worried about the retail sector. So while there's some optimism, there's still cause for concern. Overall, it's clear that there are a lot of moving parts in the economy right now. Between financial risks, geopolitical tensions, and fluctuations in various sectors, it's a challenging time to navigate. We'll have to keep a close eye on these developments as they unfold in the coming months. Apple, the tech giant, has now become the top dog in the phone industry. They've taken over Samsung Electronics, which had held the title for 12 years. Apple now has a 20% global market share, while Samsung has slipped down to 19, 4%. But it's not all smooth sailing for Apple. You see, Samsung is gearing up to release its new Galaxy S24 lineup. These phones are equipped with AI-powered photo editing and search features that could give the iPhone a run for its money. On top of that, Apple is facing some legal challenges. There are rumors that the U.S. Department of Justice is getting ready to file an antitrust lawsuit against Apple. This could happen as early as March. The company has been accused of engaging in anti-competitive behavior by the likes of Epic Games and Spotify. So they might be dealing with a pretty complex case soon. All these troubles could potentially have a negative impact on Apple's stock. And that's not all. Apple has once again been banned from selling watches in the U.S. that have a blood oxygen sensor. Oh, and if you're into tech IPOs, you might want to keep an eye on Xi'an. There are concerns that the company's IPO in the U.S. could be in danger. China has launched a security review of the company, and that could definitely shake things up. There's a legal battle going on between Coinbase and the SEC, and it's got the crypto community pretty intrigued. This case could have some major consequences for the future of crypto tokens in the U.S. and potentially change up the whole landscape. It all started last year when the SEC sued Coinbase, alleging that some of the crypto tokens available on the platform should have been registered as securities. Coinbase, however, isn't taking this lying down. They've asked the court to dismiss the lawsuit claiming that the SEC's rules don't apply to them. On the first day of the court proceedings, the SEC argued that buyers of digital assets were essentially investing in them, just like you would invest in stocks or bonds. But Coinbase's lawyers hit back, saying that these buyers weren't signing contracts that entitled them to the proceeds of a common enterprise. 
So there seems to be a difference of opinion here. It's hard to say how long this case will drag on for, but in the meantime, people are focusing on other things. Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, ETH, are both gearing up for what could be another bull run, so all eyes are on those two. And it's not just the US dealing with crypto challenges. The Thai SEC has rejected spot BTC ETFs, but the CEO of Ripple is feeling optimistic and expecting more approvals. And amidst some clashes with US regulators, Gemini is getting ready to make its mark in France. Let's talk about personal finance, and specifically, private debt as an investment option. So, private debt is different from traditional bank financing. The key thing to remember here is that the term private refers to the investment instrument, not the borrower. This means that private debt is available to both public and private companies. Traditionally, private debt has been used to finance buyouts, but it can also be utilized for other purposes like expansions. Since the 2008 crisis, the private debt industry has experienced significant growth and has become a well-established asset class in its own right. We're seeing this industry flourish, especially in Europe. Over the past 10 years, private debt assets under management in Europe have skyrocketed by 380%. In fact, it now accounts for more than 20% of the total assets under management for this asset class. To add to that, the Asian private debt market has also gained momentum. In 2019, small and mid-sized companies in Asia faced an annual funding gap of over $4 trillion, highlighting the immense potential. Interestingly, about 23% of fund managers believe that Asia is an emerging market with the highest potential. From a return perspective, private debt often offers a decent yield of around 8 to 14%. Surprisingly, it even outperforms corporate and high-yield bonds when considering the risk-adjusted basis. Let's kick this podcast off with an inspirational quote of the day. All successful people, men and women alike, are big dreamers. They have this incredible ability to envision what their future could be like. The kind of future that's perfect in every way. And here's the kicker. They don't just leave it as a fantasy, they actually roll up their sleeves and work relentlessly day after day to make that distant vision a reality. Now isn't that something? It's all about having that vision, that goal or purpose, and then putting in the effort and dedication to make it happen. This quote comes from the wise words of Brian Tracy, a renowned motivational speaker and author. You see, successful people understand that dreaming big is just the beginning. It's the fuel that ignites their journey towards success. They know that every little step they take, every ounce of effort they put in, brings them closer to the life they've imagined. So my friend, if you've got dreams bubbling inside you, don't hold back. Embrace them, nurture them, and let them guide you towards your own version of success. Start working on that distant vision today. Trust me, you've got the potential to achieve great things if you believe in yourself and put in the effort. Until next time, keep dreaming big. In this episode, we discuss the downturn in indexes and stagnant telecom sectors, Jamie Dimon's caution about the U.S. economy, Apple's challenges and triumphs in the phone market, Coinbase's battle with the SEC, the growth and opportunities in private debt investment, and the power of dreaming big and working towards your goals. Thanks for tuning in to The Morning Download, your go-to podcast for personal finance, economics, and market insights in just eight minutes a day. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content and sign up for our free newsletter at morningdownload.com slash subscribe.